How's it going everybody? I'm Steve and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I actually have uh, two big announcements to give away. Uh, I want to give away two digital codes. Uh, uh, the two movies I'm giving away, uh, this, I'm not giving them away tonight. They're, it's actually going to be like a week from now. But, but the two movies I'm going to be giving digital codes away for are Ferris Bueller's Day Off from 1986. This is a, the 4K, so the, the, the digital code will be in 4K. And the other movie is Asteroid City. This is from Wes Anderson. Uh, this one just you know was was released in 2023. Um, really excited about this. Uh, my uh, the the deadline for this to, to get to get your names in for these will be on Friday, September 15th, 2023, and I'll probably give the codes away on September 16th. Uh, what I do if anyone that's not familiar with this, uh, I always you know have people sign up. Uh, you can sign up for one or both. It, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it it doesn't matter if you've won before. Everybody's eligible. I just ask that you be subscribed to my channel, obviously. Uh, and, and also, I, I may actually have two more codes to give away sometime in probably in early October. So that's probably the quickest turnaround I've had for digital code giveaways. But, but it's really exciting. Uh, you know, I, I put people's names on a, like a spinner wheel and uh, you know, basically let the wheel decide who's, who the winner is going to be. So uh, it used to be, I, I used to, you know, just flash the code up on screen and just the first it'd be first come first serve and usually somebody would get it within seconds of putting the video up and then everyone would, would complain that they never had a chance to, to win the codes so I, I, I somebody suggested to me a long time ago that I just put everybody's name on a, on a wheel or you know I think per, at one time person somebody said uh, put put names in a hat and pull them out I, I just think it's it it's more transparent to, to see your name on a wheel and know that you have a chance uh, the wheel just kind of goes back and forth, back and forth until it lands on, on a winner. And uh, like I said, it, it doesn't matter if you won before, uh, you're still eligible to win uh, unlimited number of times. So, but uh, you know, I'm really excited about these two movies though. That, uh, I, I've always loved Ferris Bueller's Day Off from you know, John Hughes, uh, icon you know, from, from the 80s. Uh, Matthew Broderick here, he's, he's great in, this, uh, in, in the Ferris role. Um, just, a, just a guy that, uh, doesn't want to go to school and, and just wants to have fun in, in Chicago, you know, basically. And, and, uh, but, but it's always been a classic here. And this movie, Asteroid City, is kind of growing on me. Uh, uh, I thought it was better than the French, Dis you know, French Dispatch was the one that he did before this one, Wes Anderson did. Uh, this, this movie has like an all-star cast. You know, Jason Schwartzman's really great in this movie. You know, it's, it's got Tom Hanks is in it. It's uh, Scarlett Johansson, it's a ton of people, I think. I thought at one time he did the the Royal Tenenbaums, which had a, a huge uh, celebrity cast in it, and I think this one has even more you know celebrities in it. So, and it's a it, a lot of people just love to love to work with Wes Anderson. Um, I, I love his earlier work. I think Grand Budapest Hotel is probably the last one I really loved, but I think he's. He, I thought this one was like I said, it's better than, than French Dispatch in my opinion. Um, that uh, I thought French Dis Dispatch was definitely for people that are definitely hardcore. Wes Anderson fans, which I am, but uh, that, that movie, it was definitely not one that I would, if, if someone's never seen a Wes Anderson movie, uh, really this, this movie too, I, I would say don't really start him off on these movies, uh, the, the last two movies that he's done, because those are for hardcore fans and uh, it's better to start people off on, on like Rushmore or Grand Bud Budapest Hotel or, you know, Fantastic Mr. Fox, you know, some of the, some of those classics from his, the earlier years uh, in his career. The, those, those are the ones I would start them off on and then kind of ease them in, in, into some of the, the, the movies like this, you know, that's way more dialogue driven and, and more artsy than, than, than the stuff he used to do. But I've always loved Wes, Wes Anderson's humor. I've, I've always thought that was great. You know, his, his, uh, I'm sure his, his humor is not for everybody. You know, some people just don't get it and they, they don't, uh, I've heard, heard people say, you know, say, say some things, uh, pretentious sometimes is used, you know, <laughs> I think it's, there's a fine line between pretentious and I think a lot of it's just, his humor is just not, it, it's very subtle and it's not, and everyone's not, not going to get it. It's just, it's way too subtle for, for a lot of people. People love, love, love their humor to be, to, to be way more mainstream. And so it's not gonna be for everybody, but I thought this movie was good. And, and certainly if you're a Wes Anderson fan, it's a must own for sure. But, uh, uh, yeah, excited about that. So, like, like I said, Friday, September fifteenth, twenty twenty-three, at eleven fifty-nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time would be the deadline for this. So, like I said, uh, just leave in the comments. Let me know if you if you want to be signed up for both of these or one or the other. Uh, you know, either way, like I said, you can you can sign up for for both movies. And 
everyone has an equal chance to, to win if, you, if you're interested in these two movies. Uh, next, next month, it, it's possible it might be air. I know that movie is being delivered by, by Walmart uh, sometime this coming week. And then uh, shortly after that, I know that Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is going to be released. So I'm planning on getting, I, I don't have that one yet. I haven't ordered that one yet. But, but uh, as for air, it's definitely been paid for and it's, it's, it's on its way probably early next week. So that one's going to be definitely, but I like to have at least two movies when I do digital code giveaways. I have at least two movies to just to give people a, some variety instead of just doing one movie and it's so I can do a live stream and everyone, everyone can watch the, uh, the, the wheel spin and know that they have a chance to win. So uh, please, like I said, please, uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please put a thumbs up on this video and have a great one. Thank you. Bye.